Hi everyone. Hey everyone. Welcome to Megan Coral. I'm Meg. And I'm Coral. And this is our how-to section. Yes. Super excited. Okay. The trusty spaghetti <laughs> squash. Yes. All right. We get asked all the time mm -hmm. how to cook a spaghetti squash. It's like yes. the most searched item, I think, on Pinterest or something like that right now. So spaghetti squash is super, super easy to cook. There's a couple different ways to do it. I do it in the microwave because I like it to be fast. And I also like the texture a little bit better in the microwave, but you can do it in the oven as well. And I'll show you, I'll tell you how to do um, that. Basically, if you do it in the microwave or the oven, you're going to want to poke holes in it. This is a really hard squash. Okay, so safety first. You just wanna poke holes in it with a knife, with a sharp knife. That's like making me nervous. Are you nervous? But just nervous. be careful, be careful. But this is what's going to um, let the steam escape, okay? So quick little side note, I, I cooked a spaghetti squash in the microwave, exactly how I did this, and it like exploded in my face. What? I'm not even joking. And I oh, still yes, have a yes. scar on my nose for that. So that. you need to be careful, just Always use a towel to cover it and handle it. Okay. That's so funny. Yeah. That was really sad. Such a random Okay, wait, weird first, thing. but I want to back up. How do you pick a good spaghetti squash? Like when you're at the market, like what do you even look for? Like what makes it good? I look, so it's crazy because at Trader Joe's, they sell spaghetti squash, spaghetti squashes <laughs> this size for $2. And so I just try to find the biggest one I can find because at that store, that's where I normally buy it. Um, because it's not by weight. If you go to another oh, yeah, supermarket, it's, like, it's like expensive. Seven, eight, nine dollars. Yeah, because they're heavy. Yeah. So I always buy it at Trader Joe's because it's super cheap, and I just okay. get the biggest one. Oh, that's good. So there's no real way to, you know, just okay. get it. It needs to be heavy. Good. Um, and that's it. Do you so, don't do like the hollow thing. No, like that? I don't. Okay. But okay. You can if you want. Well, I don't even. Yeah. Know. I wouldn't know what it sounds like. <laughs> I don't know. So we're gonna put this in the microwave. If you are doing it in the oven, you're gonna wanna microwave it for about two minutes to get it soft enough where you can cut through it. Right now, if you were to try to cut through this, it's yeah. very, very dangerous. So I always say, put it in the microwave for just at least two minutes to get it a little bit soft so that you can cut it. Um, but to put we're, it in the oven. To put in the okay. oven, yeah. Okay. If you are doing that, once you, um, once you do that process, cut it, all I do is I put it on a sheet tray, I put it face down, so right. cut side down, and I might, or I cook it for about like 40 minutes at 350 to 400. So that's yeah, another every way. Oven, every oven yeah. is so different. Yeah. Okay. So, but we're doing it in the microwave because it takes 10 minutes. That so is how awesome. long it takes. So Yay. I like it to be quick and easy yeah. and dinner on the table fast. I know. So, so that's good. why. And I you know what else I love? I love. In our formula cookbook. Can we just yes. talk about this really so quick? So I'm going to put this in the microwave Kay. for 10 minutes and Coral, yeah. tell them about Okay, this so food. our formula cookbook takes a recipe and turns it into a formula and you can get create, create endless possibilities, which is so exciting. But we actually fit, feature this lovely spaghetti squash. And so this is something just so, such a great tip to learn how to do lots of different toppings, lots of different like seasonings, flavorings. Cause yes. Like what do we have here? We have um, ground beef, Italian sausage, rotisserie chicken, meatballs, and then you could do a pesto or a salsa or tomato yeah. sauce or, yeah. So if you go to our Instagram account, yes. Megan Coral, we have about, oh, I don't even know, probably like 10 spaghetti squash Yeah, completely different recipes. recipes. Also go all to our things. blog, yeah. megancoral.com, all the recipes are on there. So yeah. I just did one that was bacon cheeseburger oh, spaghetti squash. Amazing. So good. And then I do a pineapple fried rice with it or a taco boat with it or um, We did our cooking class with the pesto. Yes, one. the pesto, pesto was so yeah. good. Pesto so good. and rotisserie yeah. chicken. So honestly, spaghetti yeah. squash is just a blank canvas and I love so it. Good. It's low carb, it's healthy. Yeah. And it's super, but kids super eat it. fast. Yeah. And kids like it. it. Yeah. yeah. You just good. gotta put stuff in it, right? Yeah. Get the flavors right. Yes. So check out our website, check out our Instagram, follow us, and get this sucker because <laughs> this is what's gonna help you yes. to be creative. And we'll put in the, the link kitchen. below too on where yes. to get that. Awesome. All right. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so the spaghetti squash just came out of the microwave. I used a towel so that no steam yes. burn. No burn, no. Does. Yeah, I already have a burn on my microwave. Oh, <laughs> so anyways, okay, so what I do is I use a towel for this because remember, this is when I, it exploded in my face. So <laughs> I'll step back. Also, just let it cool off a little bit. Like, we've let this cool off for maybe five minutes or so. Yeah. Um, just to let some of the heat escape. Okay, and so you're gonna run into this problem where this part you can't cut. So just kind of leave oh, that it. Looks amazing. And then you're gonna cut. Looks amazing. And it just kind of breaks at that point. So awesome. now we have it all ready to go. All we're gonna do is use a fork to kind of scrape the one. seeds. Yes, that would be awesome. And so you're gonna scrape the seeds out first, just with a fork, so you're not digging too deep in there right now. Um, just get the seeds out. And then we're gonna go to town and create our little strands. So Now what about these little guys? This one you wanna get out, correct? Yeah, like anything with parts, seeds. The gooey parts? Yeah, I just okay. take out the seeds and then, yeah. Okay, so I've taken out my seeds, corals, almost done taking out her seeds. And now you're gonna grab your fork and kind of do it hard. And there's some seeds that'll just kind of get in the way. Just take those out. And oh, you're just you. creating strands, just like that. And see how soft it is? It literally resembles spaghetti. So you can use this um, for substituting for pasta. It's a great gluten-free option, like we said. Oh yeah. And literally, this is like healthy option. So good. I love spaghetti squash. Okay, and that's it. So at this point, you can take this out um, and yes, do you know whatever you want, flavor it however you want, or you can um, serve it in the little spaghetti squash bowls, know, which is fun. really fun. That is so fun. Yeah. So super Yay! easy. Thanks for watching our how to and check back soon. Check all the descriptions. Make sure yep. you like and subscribe. Let us know what you guys want to learn, and we will see you soon.